Hello there. Before you continue watching this video, take a moment and look around your room. What do you see? Many of you will see some water containers that you're procrastinating taking to the sink. Quite a few of you will see the infamous chair full of clothes. What you perhaps don't see is what you'll leave behind. The little crumbs of your personality scattered meticulously around for an explorer to one day find and piece together what remains of your story. This is the exact approach Giant Sparrow's beautiful 2017 game, What Remains of Edith Finch, takes to tell its unfortunate narrative. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. The Finches were a mysterious family, with each family member holding their own unique personality traits. From the youngest, most imaginative child, to an old, defeated uncle spending the last of his days in a hidden bunker underneath the household. Playing through this game, I felt as though I lived a portion of each of these individuals' lives. I thought and walked exactly as they would, yet throughout this game I never met any of these individuals. For a game about such wonderfully crafted characters, all you really truly see is what they've left behind. Having journeyed through the game, I know that I would have probably gotten along well with Lewis. We would have talked about his passions and ambitions, there would have been many deep discussions about philosophy and what he deemed to be his calling in life. I know how deeply harrowed he would have felt to leave everything behind and go work as nothing more than a machine. And I know how he was probably at peace in the world he built for, for himself in his imagination. I also know that Calvin was, would always inspire me, trying to reach for the highest of heights whenever possible. Molly would have been great to play around with, and Gregory would have perhaps grown up to become a masterful writer, creating lively characters and breathing worlds, all from his endless imagination. Yet the question comes down once again, how do I know any of this? I've never met these people. In the context of what we deem the real world, these people have actually never existed. They are merely ones and zeros on a computer screen, flashing lights together to create what my eyes deem an animation. This is where I want to allude to the amazing power of video games to weave these narrative worlds that you can truly explore at your own pace. On the surface level, what remains of Edith Finch and many games similar to this are merely just a collection of stories. Say you acquire a deck of cards, but instead of each card containing a number, it contains a story. You place all the cards face down and slowly pick each up and read the given text. You would find this a very difficult and inconvenient method of storytelling. But now imagine if this were a magical deck of cards, telling you stories that were all based on real events and teleporting you with each card to the location of the story. That is exactly what this game does, slowly describing to you the events that took place by simply showing you what remains. Perhaps this is exactly how our stories will be told to unknown explorers. The rooms that we reside in, the workplaces we visit, and in these trying times, the words we write down and record. It's games and stories like these that truly remind us of the temporary nature of life. In its fleeting moments, all we really have is what remains. For all those wanting to play something that will help them feel more human, or perhaps wanting to remember someone from their past, please give this game the attention it truly deserves. For all those that have already journeyed through the Finch household, perhaps you will share the same sentiment as me. The Finches may have moved on, but they've given me a very wonderful lesson. I wish to leave behind as much of me as I can, so that maybe one day someone will scurry through my remains and be inspired to create more wonderful things such as this game. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for similar content. I'd also have you know that I do stream games like this and many more over on Twitch, so be sure to use the link in the description and come experience some more amazing games with us all. And most importantly, thank you for watching.